Yeah. John Gruden about Jared Goff. Which quarterback right now do you think fits that mold the best? Who's who's playing at the top of their game? Man, I don't even think it's close. I, I did a thing with uh, the Detroit Lions last week. I think Jared Goff is starting to look like Joe Montana to me. He plays with continuous movement. He completes almost every single pass. He's tough as hell. He has continuity in the same system. He knows and anticipates what plays are going to be called. They move the ball around, man. They throw it to the tight end, both backs. They throw it to all these different receivers. They have a real impressive balanced offense, but I don't even think it's close. I got Goff way up there on my list. Got Chucky feeling real nice. Got me feeling nice. Shout out to uh, PMT. It's a great, great podcast. But how do you feel about that? Joe Montana and Tom Brady were the were Joe the Montana. Joe well, Montana. if you guys watched the whatever weights for quite some time now, there was some talk that if he were to reach this level, it'd be resembling of <laughs> Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Yes. We've had these conversations even back when we were haters. And it's just that's the style of Tom Brady played. Mm-hmm. I call Tom Brady the game manager. I, Jared Goff's the game manager. They, they Tom Brady played was the game same manager style. until Tampa. Still game manager. I mean, he had played make in Tampa. He, he, he guys. threw for like forty six hundred yards, like thirty five. They're going stupid. We got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Antonio He's Brown, and freaking Grab Gonkowski. Like it's gonna your numbers gonna look <laughs> that team was fucking insane, crazy. Yeah. And then the defense too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like your numbers gonna look that way. Yeah. But that's kind of what we got going on a little bit here too. Obviously, I, I'll, I'll little, little step back on the names because they're, they're making their way to you know those uh those accomplishments, I guess, but those levels. But no, that's I mean I have no I have no problem with that. That that is the way he's playing. That's why on June. Yeah, June twenty second. We had the conversation. We found the Tom Brady clip from him and the Cowherd. He talked about. The, I, I hate saying this every single day, but that's what this is. That's what you're watching. This is Jared Goff's third year, third and a half year, arguably. And this Ben Johnson like philosophy, this Ben Johnson scheme, like he knows where every single one of his guys is gonna be. One of the murderous things that Tom Brady did, and they play the highlights to make fun of him with his check down. But if that's a fucking open throw, that's the right throw you to make. It, yeah. And you guess what? You're still gonna stay perfect on the day. We saw Tim Patrick get a, a three yard gain on, on, on Jared Goff the rest throw. But guess what? He stayed perfect on the game. Got the ball out to his guy because he knows. Where everybody's gonna be yeah. Jared Goff is operating that's why everyone's like oh you feel stupid now oh I told you he didn't say shit because this is we haven't seen this version of Jared Goff mm-hmm. these are career high numbers and these are numbers that the NFL has yet to see yes. they literally put his, the, the black jersey the cold ass one in the Hall of Fame the 18 18 never happened yeah. haven't happened before this is unprecedented levels for both Jared Goff in somewhat ways, if he continues this on for the NFL. And that's why, yes, now he's deserving the VB conversation yes but we foresaw this we, we told you this again June 24th, 2024. Check the tape. But it's it's nice to see it's what's expected, but also maybe even a little bit better than that, though. I'm not going to lie. Even, even a little bit better because, like, it's who, much better than if nobody expected thought, this. Bro, Stick 88%. Didn't expect this. Neil didn't 100%, expect this. 100%. Like, those numbers don't even make sense. Yeah, it, it, it's extremely impressive. And it's got him feeling nicey. And, and say what you want about John Gruden, rightfully so. He's notorious asshole and, and bigot, but. The guy knows football, and the guy knows quarterbacks. And like Neil says, like Braylon said earlier, both things can be true. Like, the guy can still know football. Yeah. And it's just awesome to see Jared Goff performing at this level because no matter what Stick will tell you, no matter what Neil will tell you, nobody saw this out of Jared Goff. He is, like you said, playing at a historic place, pay- playing at a top three MVP contender pace. And it's awesome to watch him go out there and just absolutely dissect teams. Like I said, it, it, it plays, John Gruden even said it in that, his cohesion and familiarity in this offense mm-hmm. under Ben Johnson, under uh, this, this play calling with, with Amon Ross St. Brown, the offensive line in front of him. I, why can't I think of his quarterback coach name oh. right now? Jared, the Lions quarterback coach. Uh, oh, Mark Brunell. Yeah, Mark Brunell and Ben Johnson being Jared Goff's coach for the this three-year stretch now, it's calmed him down and he knows this offense like the back of his hand where he goes out there and he can execute these plays with his eyes closed Mm -hmm. it's so awesome to see him performing at such a high level of efficiency that he's now feeling so confident in this offense he's stepping up in the pocket and delivering the ball down the field he's shaking off sacks and making things happen it is by far the best football Jared Goff has played in his entire life it's some of the best football that anyone has ever played in their entire life you're absolutely correct it's crazy the craziest part about this too is like there's another level to this because after the Tampa Bay game they weren't really happy with him calling as many checks as he was doing at the line changed shit up if you notice go back to the Vikings game 
Remember, you start calling that audible and Ben just time out, time out. Let's relax in this a little bit. Once he hits that level of this, if Ben stays another year, or even if he doesn't, because I think three years in this between he and the kid who's up next for offensive coordinator, I can't think of his name right now. Uh, Earth Strand. Yeah, 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 whatever it is. Like, I think they could, like, obviously continue this run a little bit here, but like, once he gets to that level, even, I mean, it's, it's already an insane level, but that's when you're like cooking up touchdowns, like, like, like every single play. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's. Jared Goff is balling out of his fucking mind. And anybody who wants to deny it is just... There's just there actually is absolutely no fucking denying There is no denying This guy is going fucking crazy. This guy, yes. the, one of the throws he, he was an incompletion was because of the, the defensive lineman got his hand up. Yeah. Like, otherwise, that would have been another fucking completion. Would have been another completion, yeah. Travis, you, you put out the infamous tweet. Uh, oh, sorry, God. somebody oh. saved somebody. Oh, hey, he God. heard that. So no, we can thank you. But um, I kind of was... Like Spenny was saying, I feel like you could definitely tell that he feels more confident. He's carrying himself more oh, confidently. Yeah. Like he knows he's the man here. Oh, for sure. I can definitely tell that through the screen. Yeah. Three. His swagger's through the roof. Yeah. Like, got we my talk swagger about, back. Oh, oh. We talk about like him, you know, when he first got here walking around Birmingham with security. And now, you know, he's clapping back at national media. Mm. He's clapping back at Wojo. He's clapping back at guys in, in, in press conferences. And he's talking a little shit. And I love that, man. I love to see my quarterback out there fucking not taking shit. Because he took a lot of shit. For me, I'm a person who gave him a lot of shit. He shut me right up. He did something I've never seen in my entire life. The Lions win a playoff game. So I will forever love Jared Goff for that. And he's like, he's playing at an absolutely elite pace right now. I didn't know I was a poor man to anybody. Yep. Yeah. Shout out Ryan Fitzpatrick. But to me, Brad Holmes saw this master plan. He knew what kind of quarterback Jared was. And he set up with his first pick, Panay Sewell. Well, that wasn't, yeah, Panay Sewell, when he knew he had to protect Jared Goff. You think about when he got to that Super Bowl back in the day, fellas. Who was his running back? Todd effing Gurley with like one of the most successful seasons as a running back ever. They know if you have a great run game with Jared Goff, you can set up play action. He becomes an elite quarterback. If you set everything up around him, maybe he's not elite without everything around him. But when he has everything in place, you're seeing what he is right now, why he went number one overall, why he is now an elite quarterback around the league and a top three MVP candidate as of today. But, he, but he's operating this offense so fucking high right now that like, even if in like the absence of JMO, even if you took a few of the like the Joes around him, he knows where the open guy is going to be regardless mm -hmm. of who it is. You could almost put anybody in there at this point, and they're going to find a way to be productive. I mean, they may not be doing the explosive, the, the yak yards or whatnot afterwards, but like Jared Goff is going to get that person the ball. And I, I don't think I think I know the comment you're going to read, and I want to read this with Mike Hart three hundred three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to the point where you said you know Jared Goff first came here, had yeah. security in Birmingham, Michigan. If you guys aren't familiar, it's the most affluent parts of Michigan. A lot of rich people stay around here. I don't like this place. Mike Card 313, today, in 2024, says this is the point now where golf can walk down seven miles if he wanted to. And he, he's absolutely he correct. He's absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Jared Goff could go in any hood in Detroit right now and be welcomed. Jared Goff is good in the hood. He's stamped in the he's stamped in Detroit for sure. Absolutely. That's true. Deservingly so, by the way. Deservingly too. so. He earned it, man. Shout out to Jared Goff, dog. It, it's it's awesome to see. He's third in my MVP ballot, says Etienne. He'd be second in mine. I, I would go, I'll go Lamar, Goff, Josh Allen. Same. I think he continues this. He'll be my first. He'll be number one. Yeah, I think if he keeps playing like this, yeah, he'll be number one. Right now, I can't, you can't really deny like Lamar with like Lamar's 18 right now. <laughs> yeah. crazy. He's actually got a higher quarterback rating than Jared Goff, believe yes. it or not. And then Josh Allen. I mean, you got what 12, 15, yeah, 12 touchdowns in the year. No, no turnovers still, and, and he's playing with less. Like. I made that graphic with Lamar and Goff the other day, and like Lamar's stats like threw me off because they were it's, so it's wild. It's insane. Right now. It's, it's wild. insane. He's put, and, it's, and that's without including the rushing. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and you give him Derrick Henry, and you see what happens. Like on top of like some of those got, touchdowns. Remember he's the one got he had like against four hundred and fifty yards rushing too already. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, because I remember I looked up to see the you know Der, uh, Jesus Dave Montgomery and uh, Jameer Gibbs like where they're at. And Lamar was like seventh in the league in yeah. rushing. Could you imagine prime Derrick Henry running behind this Lions offensive oh, dude, line? He's <laughs> honestly he's playing just as good as he ever has. He would. That's true. But like maybe a little slower, maybe. But like he's, he's having break, these fifty he's yard games too. Yeah, it's insane. He is, yeah, he's. What was so the good. OT game? He was like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> to the I, dude. I Derrick Henry is like he's my. I don't want to say this and sound bad, but like he's my Bo Jackson. 
Like he is bad. one of the most freak, the most He's one of one freak athlete point. I've ever seen in my entire life. To be as big as he is, as still be one of the fastest running backs in the NFL. With the amount of mileage he has on him too. Continuously pumping out these seasons and not showing any signs of stopping. Derrick Henry is the biggest freak athlete I've ever seen in my life. He is one of one. Absolutely. One of one. Um, but real quick, I just want to say this point. And Lamar's stat, like... That one touchdown, I think it was the Commanders, or no, I think it was the Cincinnati. Yeah. Whatever it was, he's fucking just running the sidelines like, fuck it. Yeah. And throws the to Isaiah and Likely like, on, a di- on a rope. When people talk shit about Derrick Henry, it's like you could tell they don't watch him because they're like, oh, he's just big and slow. It's like, I've never seen Derrick Henry get chased no. down from behind. He, it's, dude, when he hits that, he has the most rushing touchdowns of over 50 yards. He's got like 18 in like the past like 10 years. It's insane. It's fucking nuts, dude. The guy is a freak of nature. I want to go a little bit over because I have one more question. Unless you want to come back to it, but I feel like it, it, it fits for right now. Does golf continue this? Fastest is a reach. I didn't say he's the fastest. He's no. one of the fastest. No, no, no. At that size. I don't size. even know if he's uh, at that size for sure. It's he, crazy. At that size, he's the fastest. Oh, I size. mean, nobody else is that. He's a, yeah, no. literally Chase Young playing running back. At that size, <laughs> the, the only <laughs> guys I could stupid. think with that amount of success in my lifetime. This is off the top Jackson. of my head. Yeah, Stephen Jack. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, Stephen Jackson. Uh, Larry Johnson, Brandon, ja- Brandon or, Jacobs, Brandon Jacobs yeah. yeah, that's probably about it. And he's better than all those guys. Earl Dickerson was pretty. Well, Steve Jackson was actually fucking. Steve Jackson he was, was fun demon. to watch. Dude. Yeah, he was cold. He was a demon. Does Jared Goff keep this up, Nick Falcone? Y- yes, I think we learned from that Buccaneers game. Luckily, it was so early in the season, and yeah. to be honest, they're dealing with their own injuries now, so I don't think seeding will be an issue with Tampa Bay when it comes down to it. I was kind of worried with their fast start, but no, you learned super early in the season. If you run the ball successfully, you will set up the best version of Jared Goff. Throwing the ball under 26 times a game, you're going to see him continue to be extremely efficient and continue to throw touchdowns and not interceptions. Yes, he keeps this up. And if the Lions end the season with 13-plus wins, I think he will win that MVP. Um, Travis? I mean, barring some type of injury or anything, I don't see Jesus right now. Christ, Travis. <laughs> Nick, what? go punch I'm him. I'm trying to what answer the, the question. I'm out. You don't got to answer it like that. Yeah, he's going to keep it going. I mean, he's That's in such terrible. a groove that I don't even think it's shakable. Like, yeah. I, the perfection is not going to stay there, but he's going to be an MVP level player for the rest of the season. For yeah, sure. this is not a fluke. This is this is what you, you get, and you, you have get the longest running coordinator yeah. in the NFL, and it just so happens to be Ben Johnson on top of that. I'm Ryan St. Brown, Jamo when he comes back, Sam Laporta, yeah. J- Dave Montgomery. Yeah. Help keep that perfection, or at least that 88% of the one-handed grab he had. He also had the one in, in uh, against mm-hmm. Seattle, too. He, bro, when, I didn't know he had hands like that. Oh, yeah, no. dude. I, and we haven't even seen the best of Jameer Gibbs receiving yeah. either, too. So he's got so many weapons. This thing's going to continue absolutely. So many, I'm assuming you said You already said it, too. But Yeah. yeah. Chris? Yeah, I, I think I think there's no way that he doesn't perform at this at this level or maybe, again, dropping off, but still relative to what he's what he's doing now he's been streaky like he's been he's been either one way or another when he throws those interceptions Mm -hmm. he throws them in bunches when he has those games those perfect games he seems to have them in bunches like he i i would i wouldn't be surprised if he if he sets his own record of of longest streak without an interception i could i could see that very well could um I'm not even scared of the Bears with him anymore. Outside of, like, if it's cold. He's so, dude, he's so locked in right now. It's insane.